Good morning, children. How are you guys doing today? Are you ready for ring time? Great. Grab a chair and let's get started. Let's start off with the days of the week. Who can tell me what day today is? Very good. Today is Wednesday. Wednesday is the third day of the week. And today is Wednesday. Yesterday was very good Tuesday and tomorrow will be yes Thursday. Can you remember the days of the week? We have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And how many months do we have in just one year? Yes, we have 12 months in just one year. Can you clap them out with me? January, February, March, April, May, June, July. August, September, October, November, December. Then we start right back at January. And which month are we currently in? Very good, we are in May. May is the fifth month of the year. Which month comes after May? January, February, March, April, May, June. June is the sixth month of the year. And which month do we get before May? January, February, March, April, May. Which one was it? April. Very good. And April is the fourth month of the year. Next, can you remember your ABCs? Of course you can. Let's do our ABC song. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? How many letters do we get in the alphabet? Very good. 26. Can you count to 26 for me? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 18 19, 20. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Well, guys, you're doing great. 26 is 2 times 10 plus 6. Or you can do 5 times 5 and 1. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 plus 1 is 26. Can you remember what our theme for this week is? Very good! Our theme for this week is amphibians and reptiles. Yesterday we spoke about frogs and we said today we're going to speak about very good toads. Yes! Can you quickly remember five fun facts about frogs? Moo skin, small teeth, on their tough jaw are carnivores. They leap, they have long back legs and they like to live in or close to water. So today we'll be talking about toads. And here I have a small rubber toad for you guys to have a look at. The difference between frogs and toads are frogs, frogs have bumpy dry skin and they can also be and they are also poisonous behind their, their eyes you have parotoid glands so you have two little glands here that hold their poison oh wow they also don't have any teeth none at all 
their legs are also shorter because they like to walk. Let's see if we can learn some fun facts about hers in my book. American toad. The size is about 11 centimeters. You get them mostly in East America. Habitat, that's where they like to live, is in the forest or in gardens. Food, is insects mainly, but they'll also eat spiders, snails and worms. Ew. Tracks and signs. The tracks of a toad are not often seen, but you may spot some on a muddy river bank. Footprints show four toes on the front feet and five web toes on each hind foot. Hind tracks are up to three centimeters long and front tracks are about two centimeters. Wow! This toad is usually active at night and hides in the burrows under the stone or below during the day. Wow! Okay guys, I want to quickly show you guys a song about a toad and a frog. Then we're going to come back and sing Five Speckled Frogs. And then we'll go and have a look at what Teacher Sally has to teach us today. One beautiful day in May, Mr. Toad walked along the way. Hop, jump, and leap. Mr. Frog Past whoosh, beep, beep. Your legs are short and your waist is wide. You can't jump high. Are you satisfied? Mr. Frog laughed and jumped again. Mr. Toad looked up and said, Then. I've strong back legs and lovely warty skin. I think a frog's waist is way too thin. This little pond is my abode. I'm happy simply being a toad. Your waist is wide, you can't jump high, are you satisfied? Mr. Frog laughed and jumped again, Mr. Toad looked up and said, then. I've strong back legs and lovely warty skin, I think a frog's waist is way too thin. This little pond is my abode. I'm happy simply being a toad. He has strong back legs and lovely warty skin. He thinks a frog's waist is way too thin. This little pond is his abode. He's happy simply being a toad. Next, let's sing five little speckled.
good product. Tablets on stack of bread, sets on a stack of luck, eating some most delicious bites. Yum, yum. One jumps into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now they are four steak of frogs. Glug, glug. Four little steak of frogs sat on a speck of lung, eating some most delicious bites. Yum, yum. One jumps into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now they are three steak of frogs. Glug, glug. Three little speck of frogs sat on a speck of lung, eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum! One jumps into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now they are two speck of frogs. Glug, glug. Two little speck of frogs sat on a speck of lung, eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum! One jumps into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there is only one speck of frog. Glug, glug. One little speck of frog sat on a speck of lug, eating some most delicious bites. Yum, yum. He jumps into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are no speck of frog. Glug, glug. Let's go and see what Teacher Sally has to teach us. Good morning, guys. Teacher Sal here again. How are you all doing? I hope you've all had a wonderful week so far learning about reptiles and amphibians. Who knows what day of the week it is today? It is the third day of the week, which makes it Wednesday. Very good. Let's clap out our days of the week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Seven days in our week. And we've been so lucky because the weather has been really lovely, hasn't it? We've had blue skies. It's generally been very warm and sunny in the day. I've really enjoyed the sunshine. Do you guys remember what we are learning about? I've been teaching you about reptiles. And on Monday we learnt about the crocodile. And on Tuesday we learnt about the chameleon. And today I'm going to teach you about snakes, slithering snakes. So I've got some lovely books with nice pictures on snakes and some information. So let's learn about snakes. Tiny garter snakes have just been born and unlike most snakes, garter snakes do not hatch from eggs. These stay garter snakes take care of themselves as soon as they are born. It's a different type of snake. Can you see? And there is the snake when it grows up. The young garter snake is, grows very quickly. It will be fully grown after one year when it is born. And it may grow to be about four feet long. Here it is again. Wrapping itself around trees, the branches of trees. Snakes can be found all over the world. They live in rainforests, woodlands, swamps and deserts. And most snakes live in warm places. Have a look at this snake. Can you see its skin? Snakes and lizards are close cousins in the reptile family. Snakes do not have limbs, they have strong muscular bodies that move about by slithering along the ground or through the trees. Constrictor snakes use their powerful muscles in other ways too and they kill their prey by coiling their bodies when they go round a victim and slowly squeezing it until 
it can no longer breathe. Here's a rattlesnake. You can see there. A rattlesnake coils for its attack, ready to lunge forward in its fangs dripping with deadly venom. Rattlesnakes use their venom to kill prey and for defense. Now venom is poison. Very, very dangerous. Many snakes kill their prey by using venom, which is delivered by fangs. at the front or back of their mouths. They find prey by using their eyesight and sensing vibrations through the ground and by tasting smells, smells and with their tongues. Pit vipers have heat sensitive pits between their nostrils that can detect the warm body of an animal nearby. Here is the constrictor snake that I was telling you about. Now they are called boa constrictors. They grow to about 4 meters long, which is about 13 foot long, and are good climbers. They do not lay eggs, but give birth to live young. And then an interesting fact, the inland tapen is the world's most venomous snake. Its venom can kill a human, but it causes very few deaths because it stays away from people. Here are some more pictures of snakes in another book. So we know some reptiles are venomous, which is what I was talking about with snakes. It means they're able to produce a poisonous fluid that can either be used for hunting or in its defense. So if a snake's going to be attacked, it uses its venom to poison. And a reptile's venom can paralyze its prey, which means if it catches onto you or bites you, you can't move. And it breaks down its blood and muscles ready for eating. Poisonous snakes put poison into their body of their prey through hollow stabbing teeth called fangs which I told you about. This overpowers the victim and the victim can't fight back. Then we have the black cobra. Look at that. It's a spitting cobra. All cobras, cobras have fixed fangs at the front of their mouth. Some use these for spitting venom into the face of their enemies. A defense strategy can cause lots of pain and even blindness. Spitting cobras can aim at the enemy targets up to two meters away. And then look at this. Look at these fangs here. Fold away fangs. These are called vipers, these snakes. This here. Vipers have extra long tinged fangs that can be folded away when they're not needed. And after they stab their prey with poisonous fangs, they walk their jaws from side to side, moving them further over the victim. Ooh! Isn't that scary? So there are lots of different snakes. You get many types of snakes. Some are very dangerous and some are actually not. But you've got to be very careful if you come across a snake. So what I thought we would do today is um, make our very own snake mask. You remember on Monday we did a crocodile face mask? And yesterday, on Tuesday, we made our own collage of a chameleon. So today, I want to make us, uh, us to make a face mask of a snake. Something very similar to this, I'm going to show you. There's a little picture of a snake. I don't know if you can see his eyes and his face and his nostrils and his fangs. 
So what teacher Sal's done is I've just cut out the shape of the snake's face, just like that, very simple on white paper. And then I've made two eyes, circular round eyes, to put on his head. And then I've made, I just cut out from paper, little red fangs. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our little snake face mask, just like that, very simple. And we are going to stick his eyes on. And once we have done that, we're just going to draw a bit more on his face. So there are his two eyes. And now what teacher Sal is going to do, I'm just going to just give our snake a little bit more detail. I'll show you. Something like that. Okay. And I'm going to give him a big smile. And little nostrils. Can you see? There's his smile in his nostrils. And I'm just going to make the eyes a little bit bolder. Something like that. Can you see? Now, what I'm going to do is stick his fangs on. Fangs are very dangerous on a snake, aren't they? Let's hope this just sticks on nicely. my snake's mask, face mask, his eyes and his fangs and his smile and his nostrils. Maybe you can do something like this with mom and dad. And then, just to hold it in place, remember the other day I used a straw just to stick at the back of the crocodile mask. I'm going to do the same for the snake mask, but a stick is also fine. Let's just get the sticky tape open. And we will stick that at the back. And now we have our very own snake mask. Isn't that fun? So I thought today I could teach you a song about a slippery snake and I can use my face mask. Oh, I wish I was a silly slippery snake. Oh, I wish I was a silly slippery snake. I'd slither across the floor and I'd slip under the door. Oh, I wish I was a slippy, slithery snake. Oh, I wish I was a silly, slippery snake. Oh, I wish I was a silly, slippery snake. Oh, I'd slither across the floor and I'd slip under the door. Oh, I wish I was a silly, slippery snake. <laughs> and yesterday we did the comedian song. I don't know if you remember it. Let's do that again. Do you... Let's get our mask first. Our chameleon. Sorry, picture of our chameleon. Do you have green skin? Do you shed the skin you in? Can you change the colour too? Turn from green to red to blue? 
Do you live among the trees, blending in with sticks and leaves? Then you are a chameleon. Let's do it again. Do you have green skin? Do you shed the skin you in? Can you change the color to turn from green to red to blue? Do you live among the trees, blending in with sticks and leaves? Then you are a chameleon. Lots and lots of fun. And to end off, let's do our crocodile song. But this time we're just going to do three little monkeys swinging in the tree. Three little monkeys swinging in the tree. Teasing Mr. Crocodile, you can't catch me. Along came a crocodile, quiet as can be, and snap! Then there were two monkeys. Two little monkeys swinging in the tree. Teasing Mr. Crocodile, you can't catch me. Along came a crocodile, quiet as can be, and snap! And then there was one crocodile. Sorry, one monkey. One little monkey swinging in the tree. Teasing Mr. Crocodile, you can't catch me. Along came a crocodile, quiet as can be, and snap! And then there were no crocodiles, no monkeys, swinging in the tree, but just crocodiles swimming in the river, looking for things to eat. Well, guys, I hope you've had fun. These are both really nice things to do if you can. And guys, with your snake mask, just some paper. And it's just to draw the outline like that. You can even draw your own eyes. You don't need to cut out them and uh, stick them. But I just thought it would be quite nice to practice your cutting. Practice doing circle shapes. And then you can draw his big smile. And make little fangs for his mouth and then put a stick or a straw at the back to hold the face mask together. Well guys I hope you've had lots of fun learning about snakes. I know I have. Have a wonderful afternoon and I'll see you tomorrow to learn about more reptiles. Bye! Hey teacher Sal! Well guys we are just learning so much about amphibians and reptiles. Today's story is the teeny weeny tadpole. The teeny weeny tadpole swam in and out of a lily pad. Slish splash. Hello, my busy little tadpole, said Mother Frog. It's a lovely day for splashing and leaping. Boing! Boing! Went the mother frog high into the air. Flipping and flopping, flipping and flopping, she landed with a plop. I could do that said the tadpole, and he tried to leap onto the lily pad. All he managed was splashing and splashing. Aww. Mum, why can't I jump like you? asked tadpole. Oh, but you will, tadpole, said the mother frog. You will. Just keep splashing and splashing. Tadpole, tadpole swam off downstream. Take care, tadpole, called Mother Frog. Look out for the big bad fish. Tadpole wiggled his way to the edge of the stream to splash along the flowers. He looked up and saw a woolly face with a smudgy nose. Hello, said the tadpole. Who are you? I'm a lamb, said the woolly face creature. Can you jump? asked the tadpole. You bet, said the lamb. Watch this. Oh, 
I wish I could jump like that. Oh, but you will, Tadpole, said the man. Soon you will. A few days later, Tadpole paddled downstream to where the violet tickled his tummy. He looked up and saw a twitchy nose and the largest pair of ears he had ever seen. Hello, said Tadpole. Who are you? I'm a rabbit, said the twitchy nosed creature. Can you jump? asked Tadpole. Can I jump? said Rabbit. Watch this. Rabbit high into the air. Jumpy bumpy, jumpy bump, he landed with a thump. Oh my, said Tadpole, I wish I could jump like that. Oh, but you will, Tadpole, said the rabbit. Very soon you will. Several days later, Tadpole swam out to where a giant bush wobbled in the wind. He saw a pair of bug eyes and two springy legs. Hello, said Tadpole. Who are you? I'm a grasshopper, said the bug eyed creature. Can you jump? asked Tadpole. Of course, said the grasshopper. Watch this. Went the grasshopper high into the air. Hippity hop, hippity hop, he landed with a bump. Wow, said the tadpole. I wish I could jump like that. Oh, but you will, tadpole, said the grasshopper. Very, very soon you will. Have you realized how Tadpole keeps changing every day? The next time Tadpole went exploring, he swam far out to where the stream widened and the water became clear. Tadpole looked down and saw a pair of huge rubbery lips. Hello, said Tadpole. Who are you? Hello, boomed the rubbery lips creature. I'm a big, bad fish, and I eat tadpoles. Oh no! <gasps> the big, bad fish chased tadpole up and down and in and out of the weeds, getting closer and closer until... Frogs don't have any poison at all. 
the one likes to lead and the other one likes to walk. Which one likes to lead? Yes, frogs lead and their hind legs are longer. Toads like to walk and their legs are shorter. Next, we have four things that they are different. But can you think of one thing where they are similar? Yes, both of them are carnivores. They like eating insects and bugs. Okay guys, that's all we have time for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the lesson. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye!